Okay, let's lay out our existing drainage network. First thing we have to do is create a drainage database. So let's go to File, New, uh, select the Drainage tab, select Drainage Database from the drop down and name it. Let's name it Engineering Park. You can do, give it a description if you like. Click Apply, Close, and let's set the properties of some of our existing structures. Let's go to Tools, Drainage, Options, and click on the General tab. And here you can set your units, uh, acres, CFS down here. We'll set our status to fixed. That pertains to when you're going to design your network. Do you want inroads to automatically resize your structures based on the rainfall data that you input, or do you want your structures to remain fixed size? based on the size that you created them with. Since this is an existing network, we'll choose the fixed option. Uh, let's go to structure IDs. Uh, let's set our prefixes. That's for when we annotate our structures. Uh, the first item we're going to set is a manhole. So let's click on the manhole tab and let's set our properties there. It's a circular manhole. Existing concrete size is 5 by 8. That's a 5 foot diameter manhole with 8 inch thick walls. Um, you can set the other existing properties here. We'll leave those be for now. Um, angle 0. That's not important since it's a circular manhole. And once you get your properties set, go ahead and click Apply. And since we'll probably have to place one again, it makes sense to go ahead and save a preference. So let's name it manhole 5 foot by 8 inches. Okay, click close and we'll go ahead and close the drainage options dialog and now let's begin to place our network. Let's go to drainage, layout and let's go to manhole, manhole number 1. Let's click on our options and you see our properties are set to what we had already set them to earlier. Let's go ahead and close that and to place the manhole click the target selector button and let's zoom in on the manhole and I'm gonna snap to the center of that. That's our point. And you see our northing, easting, and elevation fields are populated. Angle zero. Click apply. And there's our manhole. <coughs> Okay, let's zoom in to where inlet number one is going to be placed. And let's click on drainage, layout, and let's click on the inlet tab and type in the number of inlet that it is. This is inlet number one. And let's go to our options and set some of our properties. And the type, let's set that to combination, existing combo. Uh, great size, let's say 6 by 3. Our connection point, uh, let's set that to inside. That's where your pipes connect to the inlet vault in plan view. And in the orientation section, let's set the angle. And let's set that to 0 for now. And click apply. And again, we may as well go ahead and create a preference for that. So let's call that inlet combo eh, 6 by 3. Click OK. We'll click close. Let's close the options. Uh, let's go ahead and click on our style lock. Let's click that on. And now let's begin placing our inlets. So let's click the target selector button. And let's zoom in on our point, and I'm going to snap to the center of that. And then I'll click Apply. After reviewing all these properties, I'll click Apply. And there's our inlet number one. Let's zoom in to our inlet number two point. Go to Drainage, Layout, select the Target Selector button. I'll snap to the center of our point and click apply <coughs> excuse me now let's zoom into number three inlet number three 
Let's go to Drainage, Layout, Target Selector button. I'll snap to the center of my point, and we'll click Apply. And there's our inlet number three. Now let's zoom into inlet number four, and let's go to Drainage, Layout, Target Selector button. I'll snap to the center of that and this one has a little different orientation. This one is actually at a 180 degree angle. It's flipped backwards. So I'll type in 180, click apply, and then close because this one is on the opposite side of the curb. You see it's on a on the south side of a curb island and the rest of them are on a north side of the curb island. Inlet 3, same thing with 2, and same thing with 1. Okay, so there's the first four inlets. Uh, inlets number five and six we're going to place with the station offset method. So let's come over here to our geometry tab, uh, engineering park. Let's, okay, engineering park road, we would set that active. It's already active. Let's right click and select view. And then, so here's our alignment and there's our inlet number five. Well, let's go ahead and station our alignment so we know where we're at. Let's go to geometry, view geometry, stationing, if you have preference, preferences, load them, close, apply, click close and our alignment is stationed. Here's our point for our inlet five. You see it's right around station 12 plus now well, 30, somewhere around there. Okay, so to place inlet number five, let's go to drainage, layout, and let's go to options. And what we'll do is we'll come down here and select the parallel to alignment radio button. Let's click apply, close, and then I'll select my target selector button. Then I'm going to come down here use the microstation key in and type in station offset equals 1238.22 and it's offset 28 feet I'll hit enter apply and let's see what that looks like and there's our inlet number five okay let's zoom in on our inlet number six point there it is I'll choose drainage, layout, target selector button. Well, let's verify that we're parallel to alignment. You want to make sure you have that radio button selected. Close, target selector button. I'll type in my station offset equals station 1028.77, and this is offset 15 and a half feet. Click enter click apply, close, and there's our inlet number six. And you see it's parallel with our alignment. Okay, so after our all of our existing structures are in, our inlets and manhole, well let me just come up here, file, save, drainage data, and let's throw this in there. Let's save it as Engineering Park. Whoops. Park. And select file type SDB, Drainage Database. Go ahead and click Save. I'll click Cancel. And you can add that to your project file too. That would be a good idea to do that. And so now that we have our inlets and our manhole in, the next step is to place our existing pipes.